For cheap and reliable FIFA Ultimate Team coins, go to fifacredits.com. What's up guys, I'm Tomel FC Evan and welcome to an episode 2 of the Atletico Madrid career mode and I'm so happy the first episode went down like a storm. You guys smashed it more than 350 likes. So let's do it again for this episode. If you want to see daily uploads in this series, get this video to 200 likes and many of you guys left some awesome comments regarding transfer suggestions. Keep the suggestions coming in the comments, so keep commenting. The first episode got almost 300 comments and many of you guys said that I should play with the new formation. I will definitely not be playing with the 4-1-2-1-2 formation. Don't worry guys. And uh, many of you guys said that I should play with the 4-2-3-1 formation. I will try it out and see if it suits my playing style. But if not, I will try uh, with the 4-3-2-1 formation or the 4-3-3 formation as well. I will try those out. But at the moment, this is my mess best team at the moment. Uh, but I shortlisted uh, some players. The, uh, David Villa is getting old. We will need a replacement for him. And the other players are not that young as well, but um, uh, I don't have a lot of money. As you can see, I have like 31 million plus uh, like some transfer budget because I, uh, I got uh, free youth scouts um, in for like a combine of 5 million in total. And I sent them out to Spain, Brazil and England. Those are the three countries that I will be scouting for. And uh, let's go and see the transfer targets. So I shortlisted some of the players that many of you guys uh, commented. We can't get Alexander Pato because he's on loan at Sao Paulo. Many of you guys said that I should get him. The other players who were uh, really recommended to me was uh, Fernando Torres. Just to get him back to Atletico Madrid. He's linked with Atletico in real life. And also Rodrigo, a Spanish player. Uh, and also many of you guys said that I should get a new right winger like Carlos Vela, Hulk or a, a new CDM like Javi Martinez. Uh, and I will try to get as many like Spanish players or Spanish speaking players uh, as uh, possible. But I think the, the, the player that I would, I think I would, would really improve our team and he could be the long term replacement for... Uh, for uh, um, David Villa is uh, Hulk so let's try and get him he's worth like uh, 40 million but uh, at the moment he has uh, he's just signed a new contract so he's worth like 20 to 25 million so I will try and offer offer a player that we don't really need um, and that is uh, Tiago who is 32 years old and also let's offer them Tiago plus like uh, 16 million pounds. Let's try to uh, get uh, Hulk. Uh, if we can't get Hulk, I will try to get uh, Carlos Vela. And also loads of you guys said that I should get Rodrigo. I think he's a better option than Torres because yeah, we get Torres, but he will be um, like 30 years old in one season. So um, I don't think he's worth paying 10 million for. I inquired about him, but I'm not sure, you know, in two seasons, I mean, I'm planning for uh, two or three seasons at least with Atletico Madrid. In, 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 in next season, Torres' stats are going down, otherwise, but Rodrigo, his stats will go up. So in the long term, Rodrigo is a much better option, but he's on a six-year contract. Ooh, that will be a difficult uh, thing to... To get him, but I will try, you know, and if, if we can't get Rodrigo, I will try to get uh, Torres, uh, and if we can't get Hulk, I will try to get Carlos Vela, and maybe I will get Carlos Vela later, because uh, our first choice uh, players are not uh, not that young. Um, if you so if you look at the, the age of the players, of course, we will need a new goalkeeper, because Courtois is only on loan for this season, so Juan Fran is 28. Godin 27, Miranda 28, Philip Lewis 27. So these players in two or three seasons, they, they won't improve a lot. Gabi is 29, uh, Koka is a big talent 21, but David Villa 31 years old. So Ada Turan 26, Diego 28. I mean, they are not old, but they won't grow much. That's the thing with these players. Diego Costa, they, he might grow because he's only 24. 
but uh, Gabi, David Villa, Arda Turan and the defense, they won't grow much. So uh, either we st we get uh, some guys in, or or we just um, we just keep uh, the how it's going. What Carlos Vela? What what Real Sociedad want forty one and a half million for him? Are you serious? I don't even have that much money. Why does he cost so much? Oh yeah, I think because he's. Uh, he has three years on his contract and he's also quite young, but that's 41 million for Carlos Vera. Are you serious? Javi Martinez won 32 million. I will probably try and get him a little bit later in this career mode. And I sent out the Global Transfer Networks cards. So yeah, Torres costs 70 million and Rodrigo costs 16 and a half. So do you think Fernando Torres is worth 70 million? I mean, he's 29. I, I wouldn't I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't go that far I think I think is um, Rodrigo is a better option in the on the other hand Zenit want 32 million and wow that's cool I, I updated the I downloaded the squad updates and it says Andre Villas Boas is the Zenit manager so that's that's really cool to be honest uh, and yeah Zenit denied our transfer offer. Uh, they are interested in Thiago though, so that's good. Let's offer them like 90 million. He could be the major player that could uh, fire us to glory. Z uh, Hulk, he's a really, really strong, powerful player. And I, I, I never used him in career mode. It's quite weird. Um, wow, they accepted... What? <laughs> oh my god, they accepted 9 million for Rodrigo. Are you serious? What a bargain! He's worth 16 and a half and they accepted 9 million. That is insane. Let's offer him 60k on a 5 year contract. Oh my days. Wow. That is a shockingly good transfer. We could get Rodrigo for 9 million. That's definitely a much better option than Fernando Torres. I hope you guys understand. And um, Zenit accepted our transfer offer 90 million plus Thiago. Brilliant for Hulk. Yes! What a day! Yes! I'm so, I would be over the moon with Hulk and Rodrigo. And I love that you guys are suggesting transfers for me. It makes the series so much more fun. Oh, the Rodrigo wants a better role. Okay, uh, let's give him. Um, not sure. Squadro. Let's try the squad rotation player at the moment because I think Diego Costa will be my first choice striker. Not sure. Oh, and we got we got a short term loan for this young player. That's good. That's really good. That's really good. We, we need to send these young players out on loan. I already put... put uh, Oh, guys! <laughs> the beast! The beast! Hulk is in our club! Yes! Get in! Oh, I never used him in career mode. An ultimate team on FIFA 13. He was one of my favorite players. The inform 85 rated striker Hulk. Damn, son, what a transfer. I'm so happy. And Rodrigo as well. What a day. Oh, thank you guys for suggesting these players for me. So many of you guys said that I should get Rodrigo and Hulk. And we don't have a lot of money left in our club. But that's two big, big major signings. And I will adjust the kit numbers. I think I will make Diego Costa the number 9 because he will be the first choice striker, other to run 10. Not sure about the others. Let's make Hulk the number 7 in our club because he's he will be a major major player for us and that how could I get the best out of these players in this formation? I'm not sure. Would you guys mind if I played with this um, with this formation because basically it's like um, 
Not this one. Not sure. 4 3 1 2. Yeah, that, uh, that's a new formation. I didn't try that out so far. And we could. Um, hmm. Not sure. I think I will. Uh, I will play with. Um, so Turan, Koke, and Gabi in midfield. Uh, that's a, that's a really good midfield. And uh, we could play Diego in the camp position. Um, and uh, let's see, Rodrigo up front with Hulk. No, like this. And Rodrigo as the backup striker with the Adrian. That's that's a good uh, good option. Um, because you know Rodrigo is 70, 79 rated, but I think he will improve a lot. So I will rotate these players, or we could do, or I have a I have an even better idea. I'm just brainstorming here a little bit. I even have a better idea. Let's play with uh, with three three strikers, like four, three, two, one. Um, because we don't. Um, we don't have a lot of fast wingers, you know, so I don't think we should play with wingers. Um, so let's let's bring um, Diego in midfield. Let's put Hulk there and let's play Rodrigo up front. And let's bench Gabi. Um, what do you think about this, guys? Koke, Diego and Ardo Turan. I know they are not defensive midfielders. To be honest, neither of them are really good at defending, but that's that's my playing style. I try to go all out attack and Hulk on the right, cutting in on his left foot. I think he's a beast. Rodrigo, he's left footed, but he can play on the left and Diego Costa up top. So what do you think about this formation, guys? And this this team, I think it's, it's pretty good. And of course, uh, or I could play like... Um, Maybe I could play with uh, like this one, put Gabi in, in the middle and play Diego and, uh, with the other two uh, to run and uh, rotate Co Coke and David Villa of course. We have some backup strikers like Adrian, we have, um, we have uh, also uh, David Villa, so uh, David Villa can, could come in to replace Hulk or Rodrigo is, uh, if either player is tired. I think this is the formation that gets the best out of this squad. We have a lot, one uh, really fast striker, really really fast winger Hulk, but I think I, I don't want him to play like out wide in the 4-2-3-1 formation. Um, because uh, he, he needs to be closer to the goal because he's such a good finisher. As you can see, he's the, he, is, he has the clinical finisher specialty. And uh, he has 86 finishing, so I, I think he needs to be up there. His finishing is almost as good as Diego Costa. And Rodrigo will be our future, future great striker. Not sure what kind of uh, squad number I should give to Rodrigo. And let's make, uh, let's make uh, Arda Turan the captain, because he's the leader. He's the re real leader of the of the squad so at the moment this is how my uh, my team my squad uh, looks like and uh, i will try and play the first few preseason friendlies not sure if i should bring in anybody else in the transfer market uh, because i don't have a lot of uh, a lot of money left i have like three million plus uh, some wage budget so i will i will take a look at some of your other suggestions and maybe get another younger player like a promising player in so we got a transfer offer from Real Sociedad for Jose Sosa and to be honest uh, I don't know much about him he's 28 years old he's 77 rated so obviously he will not get much better and um, we need to raise uh, some funds to to maybe have another uh, young player another transfer into our club so guys I will have like um, I will have like, uh... oh yeah, player sold, that's good, so um, I need your help again, so we have, um, 
if I adjust the wage budget to like 80, 80k, so we have like nine and a half million, nine and a half million and 80k week, week, weekly wage budget. Who should I get for that money? Leave a comment, leave, recommend me a young player, a talented young player, preferably uh, Spanish, just to make the to keep the series uh, realistic. So let me know who should I get, which player do you recommend me getting in the comments below? Because I, I looked at some of your uh, suggestions and I'm, I'm quite torn, I'm not sure who I should get. Because there are so many, so many different suggestions, but no player stands out. I, I would love to get Carlos Vela, but I don't think for, like, we can get anywhere near, I mean, his... Yeah, they want 41 million and I have like 9 million so so that no chance of getting Carlos Vela so recommend me some young uh, Spanish talented players in the in the comments some of you said I should get Anthony uh, Griezmann um, and to be honest he looks like a, he looks like a, a talented player so let's try let's let's try and look him up. I usually go to the um, Liga BBVA, yeah, Real Sociedad. So this is how this is how I usually uh, look up the <clears throat> look up the player that I I want if I know uh, who he he plays for. So let's add him to the shortlist. He's worth 11 million, and he's on uh, 20. 50k but oh no he they want 20 to 27 million damn that's that's too much I, c I can't even let's offer let's offer like 9 million let's see what they say to this so i wanted to involve uh, i wanted to include the first preseason friendly in this episode after all the transfer dealings so this will be my team for the next episode, I went with Gabi, Diego and Arda Turan in midfield. But I think I will play um, Matias Suarez in midfield as well, because Gabi is 30 years old already. Lo uh, so, so excited, first pre-season friendly, West Ham, we are off to the Vicenda Calderon Stadium. Let's see what this team is made of with the new signings, Hulk and Rodrigo alongside Diego Costa. I think that will be a really potent strike force so i'm so so excited let's go guys first preseason friendly and i'm so excited for this new season series and new season i never played with atletico madrid before on carrier mode uh, i i played with real betis i you know i made uh, some real madrid carrier modes on previous fifas on my channel but this is the first time i'm playing with atletico madrid and i quite like them for a long time since uh, Fernando Torres was a young player there before Liverpool signed him, I watched Atletico Madrid quite a lot, and uh, they always play some nice football. And they, the strikers that they had, Fernando Torres, Falcao, Sergio Aguero, Diego Costa, now uh, that's just some of the strikers that David Villa. That they had some really world class. And they have some really world-class strikers and almost every season they sell their best striker and they still keep fighting at the top. And I really hope that they can win the Champions League and the La Liga this year. Well, I, I hope more for, the, for them to win the La Liga because you know I like Real Madrid, I support Real Madrid in Spain. But, but uh, I don't have the, any hatred for Atletico and the commentators are talking about Hulk. Oh, what a player, what a signing. I'm so happy that many of you guys recommended Hulk for me. And this is the West Ham team. We should, really should beat them with this team. Let's see how this goes. Come on! Come on, Costa! Ah, oh, finish that! Too close to the goalie, damn! No way. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Stuart Downing. The fucking Downing scores a goal like that. Get, uh, send him off. He, <laughs> he climbed into the 
defense, man. Oh, no way. Courtois concedes. That's a really nice goal, but as if Stuart Downing would do that. Come on. Score! No! Oh, come on, come on, come on, this is it! Come on, head it, head it, please! How did you miss? How on earth Diego Costa, are you kidding me? You have like 90 heading or something, how did you miss? Oh my... Oh, yeah, we just can't score at the moment, but keep playing like this and we will score eventually. Go on. Hit it to run! Oh no! Oh, brilliant counter-attack. Oh, that's what we need, a little bit quicker passing. It was going wide, I think, but... No, no, no way, Rodrigo's shot, it's cleared off the line. Diego Costa. Must be Costa! What the fuck, why would you have that? Why didn't you hit it with your foot, you re- oh my god, no. Oh, this is bad. No, no. No, shit! Unbelievable. Instead of 2 0, if, instead of 1 1, it's 2 0. Oh, no. Oh, my God. What a painful first preseason friendly. What is Hug doing there? What the fuck? What is he doing there? Get up! Oh my god, what a glitch! Oh, what a fucking glitch that was! Okay guys, so let's watch this again. What happens to Hark? What the fuck is this, EA? What are you doing, man? What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? What is he doing, guys? He's tossing the ground. <laughs> anyway, this was going on for like two minutes and then one second whoops okay that I had enough let's get up and let's get back and play come on Hulk what are you doing <laughs> oh my god oh wow what an awful start to preseason but uh, to be honest I can't really play much better than this in terms of creating chances just look at this man I had 11 shots, 8 shots on target, usually that results in 2 or 3 goals, but not today. The West Ham keepers saved everything and West Ham scored 2 goals from 3 shots. Courtois, what were you doing, man? And, uh, yeah, I think, whoa, oh my god, we are playing Paris Saint-Germain next. Whoa. Damn, and the league objective, they want me to win the league title, okay. They didn't accept the, our offer for Griezmann, so guys, uh, leave a comment, who should I sign for like 9 or 10 million, that's the transfer budget that I have at the moment, let me know in the comments below, and I'm looking forward to the last uh, two preseason friendlies, and then what a way to start the season. Two Super Cup finals against Barcelona. Ho, ho, ho. Home and away. I'm looking forward to that. And also Sevilla away in the first game. We will play much better than this, I think. And we will, we will, um, we will play um, much better football than this in the season. And we are paired with Celtic, Pacos Ferreira and Juventus in the Champions League. So that's uh, looking likely to be an exciting Champions League group as well and I'm really looking forward to uh, trying to win trophies with Atletico, Atletico Madrid so here are, is the Champions League group on the screen so thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed this Atletico episode if you did leave a like and leave a comment which player should I sign next 
Thanks for watching guys, have a nice day, goodbye! Welcome to the World Cup Final! Uruguay against Spain, it doesn't get much better and much bigger than this in an Ultimate Team episode today, but I hope that the live commentary makes up for it.